Hello sake lovers, my name is Montana Ray and I'm a certified sommelier here in Denver, Colorado and today we are going to learn about how to taste and enjoy premium sake. First things first, we need to get the sake ready to enjoy. Premium sake is best enjoyed chilled out of the refrigerator. Don't heat up your sake unless it's intended for heating like a futsu or a style that's meant to be served warm. If you heat up a premium sake that's intended to be served chilled, you're gonna mask all of the beautiful, delicate aromas and flavors of the sake, and you're also gonna notice a lot more intense alcohol flavor profile, so keep it nice and chilled. You've got a few different options when it comes to choosing a vessel for your sake enjoyment, but for me, I enjoy using just a traditional tulip-shaped wine glass the most. Why? Because when I pour the sake in here, I can swirl it and release all the aromatics just like you would a premium wine. Another option is a traditional porcelain ochoco, those little tiny cups that you find in sake restaurants all over the place. Now, let's talk a little bit about sake pouring etiquette. If at all possible, you never want to pour sake for yourself, unless you're like me and you're at home drinking it by yourself, in which case you really can't avoid it. So don't worry too much about that. However, if you're with a group or you just want to be extra traditional about it, go ahead and pour the sake using two hands, just like so. Once the sake is in your glass, if you're enjoying with others, use two hands to lift it off the table. This will show respect to the person pouring the sake for you. Angle your glass or ochoco towards the person serving you to show respect. Now, let's go through the steps of tasting premium sake. If you've tasted wine in a sort of formal sense before, these aren't so very different. The first thing you're gonna do is take a look at the sake in your glass. Hold it up against a white surface or a white piece of paper so that you can get a good sense of the color, texture, and style of the sake in your glass. The one in my glass is nice and clear. It's almost water white. And this particular sake is a Ginjo style. Now that the sake is in your glass, go ahead and give it a swirl just like you would a glass of wine. This is gonna release the beautiful aromas in this delightful liquid. And then go ahead and take a whiff. You're gonna notice a lot of fantastic aromatics from premium sake. And you can start to detect notes of fruit, flowers, earth, minerality, things like this. Now for the fun part, let's taste this sake. So you'll notice that I'm kind of chewing on the sake. I'm doing that because I want to spread this delicious liquid all over the inside of my mouth and start to notice if the things that I smelled, the aromas, are confirmed when I taste it. Are the flavors the same or are they a little bit different on the palate? I'm looking for things like texture, body, fruit, if there's any minerality, and also if there's a big presence of alcohol or not. So now that you're enjoying your sake, here are a few more fun facts that you should know about sake in general. Premium sake is produced without adding any extra sulfites. So if you've been concerned about sulfites in wine, sake is a great option for you. Sake is also made out of rice, which means that it is naturally gluten-free. So it's very friendly for anybody experiencing celiac. Sake is naturally very low in histamine. So if you're someone who's sensitive to histamine, sake can be a great alternative for you to wine. Sake also has no malic or tartaric acids. Both of these are found in wine, so if you're someone who suffers from heartburn, sake can be a great solution for that. Sake is naturally high in amino acids, so this can be a really powerful reason that sake is so fantastic to pair with a wide range of foods. Last but not least, premium sake will stay good in your refrigerator for over a week after you've opened the bottle. So this is a great choice if you're drinking a little bit less right now or if you want to open multiple bottles and taste sakes side by side, which is a great way to learn. You're not going to run the risk of everything going bad after just a couple of days. Hopefully you enjoyed this introduction to sake tasting and I hope you enjoy lots of wonderful sake in your future. Cheers!